hello guys and girls welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a darker smoky eye look definitely very appropriate for any Christmas parties that you guys are having um, a Christmas look even so I'm going to be starting with my ultra repair cream by first aid just moisturizing my face first of all then I'm gonna move on to my Revlon photo ready perfecting primer all over my face as well then I'm going to move on to NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which is all white. And the reason why I'm putting it all over my lid is because I will be doing um, a lighter color on my lid. So I wanted to pop up more. And I'm going to put tape on my eyes. Yes, tape on my eyes. <laughs> just for the edges to be nice and clean. Now I'm going to move on with my samey brush and I'm gonna dip in Soft Brown by MAC and I'm gonna do that all over my crease. And uh, for every video probably, I'm going to be using this color for my crease. It's perfect for a crease color, just a base color. Now I'm gonna move on to this palette. It's called, oh, uh, I can't remember but it's by Lorac and I'll put the details down, down below but I'm using the darker palette palette the darker <laughs> color <laughs> for the crease and I'm going to be working my way in a little bit just making sure I smoke the eye out Okay, so now I'm going back to my samey brush once again and I'm just gonna go over the harsh lines of that smoky black look so you can see now so now I'm gonna move on to this NYX little palette that I got from my ipsy bag and it's called moonlit skinny dip and I'm using this shimmery color it's like a champagne color on the lid it's so pretty so I'm going to be doing some dancing, yes girl, just like the other video. And right there I'm telling you not to put any more eyeshadow on it. We're going to go back to the same brush that we used um, for that dark color. But don't add any more colors to it. We're just going to use the same colors that it, the brush has already. Just to darken it up a little bit more, just go over it. So now I'm going to go back to, we'll go back go start on my eyebrows and I'm going to be using my elf duo palette in medium and I absolutely love this palette so so much I've bought so many of them um, I'm gonna be doing the powder first and then the gel after and you can see how I'm doing it right now I'm actually going to be using my morphe oh 160 brush Okay, so now moving on to the foundation. I'm going to be using Neutrogena I actually just bought this one. I really like it. I'm trying it out. I heard good reviews on it, but also bad reviews on it on breaking out your skin. So let me know if you've tried this and how you like it. I definitely like it so far, but it's a uh, fresh beige. So it's 70 and it's shine control. So it's really good. And so I used the beauty blender to blend everything out. And now I'm using this new concealer that I also bought at first I didn't like how it was going but after I, I put it all together blend it all I really like it perfect yay oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> people blowing up my phone man but now I'm going to be using this um... <laughs> I can't with me singing I'm so sorry I'm using this concealer brush and I'm going to also be concealing my eyebrows just cleaning up the edges of my eyebrows basically and I'm going to go back with the beauty blender and let me just tell you that I will never go to any other sponge but the beauty blender because this works amazing so now I'm moving on to Maybelline concealer 
uh, master conceal in medium I'm going to put that all over under my eyes as well so now I'm going to go back to soft brown and do under my eyes and go back to the dark color under my eyes as well so we're just going to repeat the same procedure from the top to the bottom now and I'm actually going to go back to that same champagne color but I'm actually going to spray it with my Urban Decay setting spray just so it stands out more I feel like it definitely made a difference using the setting spray so I'm showing it just a little bit right now oh no I'm showing the other color that I'm going to be using so I'm using the lighter color just underneath my eyebrows and yes i love these lashes so much these are called egyptian queens and now moving on to contouring don't look at the brush now this palette i love but i really don't know where you can get it it's amazing but i bought it at the mall like a long time ago and it still has survived so now i'm just gonna contour just the same procedure just uh, moving my brush upwards and now contouring my nose lightly underneath underneath my nose as well over my the temples of my forehead as well now I'm going to go with highlighter and I love these highlighters so this is Laura Geller Geller or Geller and this is called baked highlighting highlighter Por Portofino I think that's what it's called or how it's pronounced but now moving on to lips I'm doing this liquid lipstick by LA girl and it's amazing beautiful color big shout out to my best friend Daya for giving it to me and now moving on to mascara I'm going to be using Smashbox full exposure And yay, makeup's done. Now I'm going to be using Urban Decay Setting Spray. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know what else you want me to do. I will be coming up with another video soon. So stay tuned. Love you. Mwah.